I've been playing around with Meagle for a while now, and I see it as a great fit for people who need to build, manage, and tweak very detailed workflows. And when I say tweak, I mean it in real time. You soon see it. Uh, there are so many possible settings, you, and, and everything is interconnected. So let's take a look at it. You probably won't have anything here when you start. This is kind of a dashboard. Then we have here the spaces. This is what I've been uh, playing around with. As you can see here, I have three spaces. They work like projects. We'll get to them soon. Some items have a pin icon that once clicked will add that item to the start menu. There is the Teams tab, and here you can find my amazing team, a one-person team. <laughs> and this is where I suggest you start from. Like I said, there are so many possible settings. So I think the best way to do it is look for a template that meets your needs. And as you can see here, they try to cover a lot of options. We have agile development, we have a marketing plan, there is down here email marketing, even video production. Here it is, video production template, e-commerce, there's a lot here. So let's start with this one here. Create, give this new space a name. I'll call it ladcampus.com. And you can change the icon. Let's leave that one for now. And from here, we can go to the space configuration. Here, check this. This is what I mean. If you have been part of an Agile project, look, there is Epic, Sprint, features, everything is here. And again, you can customize this. We'll get there. Let's pretend we are building an app. So let's add some features to that app. New feature. Let's try calendar integration. Um, select a workflow. You soon understand what this is. Uh, description. There's so many options here. For now, I'm just adding myself as responsible for the UI UX and create this. And here's that workflow which you can customize. We'll get there. For now, let's click here, complete, but pay attention to feature review. This is the ongoing activity. So if I complete this one, it will mark that as complete and switch to ready for design. Okay, let's add a new feature. AI assistant. Again, I'll choose the same workflow and I'll add myself to that activity. Create. We'll get back to that page. But what I'm going to show you now is that we can, for example, add these features to a sprint. So let's create a new sprint. I'll call this one. Default sprint. Down here, we can select from the 26th to the 3rd, for example. If you want to, you can add a description. Plan features, add existing feature, and we can select those features. And here they are. 
And as you can see at the top of the screen, the system created some statistics. So we have the total number of sprints, which is one. We have one member and zero dawn, for example. And talking about statistics, let's go back to the dashboard where you can customize it with many modules. So let's try this one here, views, add view, new view. Let's call this, I don't know, list. Uh, let's select where the data will be collected from. Uh, maybe features table is already good. So that's it. Now let's save this. And there you have it. Of course, you can add other views. And that's how you create a personalized dashboard. But you can personalize so many other details here. For example, Let's say you don't need a panorama view, but you would like a tasks module. Let's go back to space configuration, navigation settings, click here. Let's remove the panorama view and let's add a task module. I'm going to move it here. Let's remove this one too. And now pay attention to the list. And there we have it. Now, if we go to features again, this is just to remind you of the, if I click here, the workflow. So remember this, the workflow and all these fields here, all this information down here. Okay. So if we go to space configuration and work items, here's where we can change almost any of the settings of the left menu items. For example, if we go to features, you can start by changing the icon colors. But if we click here, field management, you have access to all the fields and if you click on any of them, you see more details on the right hand side. And of course, you can add new fields. There are many options to choose from. But we can also change the workflow. One option here is add a new workflow, creating it from scratch. Let's go inside one of these ones here and hover the mouse over one of these items. You can see here this uh, three lines. If I click here, I can add another item, new item, and it's already connected, but I can, I can link to this one here, technical review, link to technical review. So now we have a new item in our workflow. And of course, I can click here and delete it. I hope this overview helped you understand how rich in possible configurations and settings Meagle is. And if this is a topic you would like more videos about, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.